Hey guys, AZYT Abbott here, and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about Hitman 3. Oh yeah, I just got done playing the game. Uh, I finished all six missions. Um, it, it, it's, it's awesome. And uh, we're going to talk about it. That's Madame Carlyle taken care of. So, um, the story basically follows is the constant from the last game. Oh yeah, by the way, this will contain Hitman um, 1 and, and, and 2 spoilers. Um, so if you haven't played those games, and Hitman 3, of course. So if you haven't played any of the three latest games, um, yeah, I highly suggest you, you, you know, uh, Stop watching now and either watch walkthroughs or play the games for yourself. Honestly, I highly request these games for yourself. IL Interactive um, does a great job. But, um, the story follows is the constant. Of course, if you remember from Hitman 2, he was the man that we um, brought back alive from um, the Isle of Scale, uh, which was the final mission of Hitman 2. But, um,. He escapes, and now basically the ICA is kind of compromised, and you know, there's agents out to get me. Um, you know, Diana is put under pressure by the constant. Um, of course, um, Gray, um, if you remember 47's colleague, he, uh, he has some moments in it. But uh, I'll tell you right now, Gray actually ends up um, dying he kills himself because he doesn't want to you know go back to the life he, he was living before um, before all this because um, Providence kind of brainwashed him of course and he doesn't really want to go back to that of course so he, he decides better just for him to end his life which was kind of sad he did it right in front of 47 um, but there's a lot of uh, a lot of back and forth with this one where you don't exactly know who to trust because even Diana uh, towards the end you don't know whether it's a part of her cover or she's actually working with the constant but of course it ends up being she works um, she's working uh, working with you you know it's all part of her cover everything that she's doing this time at this time with the constant but um let's see I guess I'm gonna walk through each of the different missions uh, I'll be brief with them so the first one's in Dubai um, I really love this one. The, the 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 game design, the map design for all of these maps are awesome, um, but mainly the the first map is awesome. You are uh, in Dubai on this big tower, and there's like hot air balloons all around in the sky. Um, you know, there's this big festival going on inside. There's lots of cool uh, cool things going on. There's an art installation that looks very beautiful and uh, it's very very pleasing to the eye um, and of course you have to take out um, Marcus uh, Marcus something I don't know his, his last name is very confusing and uh, and Carl uh, Carl Maxson or something like that Carl Mason um, something something like that but uh yeah I found it to be super um, interesting because basically you have this big festival going on these two guys are here um, there's an option where you can actually um, have Gray talk to them both and kill them both, which is awesome. Um, but I just went the the old, you know, old-fashioned route. I actually got Silent Assassin for this one. Um, I di I just distracted their guards and then took their stuff and then hid them and hid them away and um, got they got the targets, you know, led away to somewhere private and killed them. Uh, it was pretty. Pretty well done. I did it in like 25 minutes. I don't know how the people that do it in like 20 some seconds do it. They must run in, just shoot them, and get out. But I mean, they can't because it's Silent Assassin. So I, I don't know. I <laughs> I would really like to see someone try and get that within 20 seconds. I would like to see one of the one of the playthroughs of that. Um, the uh, the next mission, you have to take out Alexa Carlisle. She's at this mansion. It's basically a murder mystery map, where actually if you um you dress up as the this investigator you can actually choose to solve the entire mystery um which is actually it's a really cool mystery because basically one of the one of the guys is uh one of the family members is poisoned they don't know who it is 
um, Alexa Carlisle fakes her death, but so now all her family members are there, and now conveniently, um, you know, th this guy is dying. And, uh, <clears throat> sorry, it's, it's really late, um, at night. But, um, yeah, they have to find out who who it is, and if you had dress up as this investigator, you actually find out, you follow the different clues, you go around asking all the different people, the butlers, the different family members, um, and you actually find out that he was poisoned by a plant, um, it, it, I'm not gonna spoil that here, cause you guys can go your own path in this game with the different, you know, options, there's even one where you take a picture of her, I haven't done that one yet, dress up as a photographer and take her picture, I haven't done that one, I might, I might do that one next time I play through. Do you think I could survive, she seems really broke, but, um, she seems really broken, she's just kinda standing there. Uh, do you think I would be able to... <laughs> That's Madam Carlyle taken care of. Time to get the file on Arthur Edwards. <laughs> oh, no, 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 mate, that was the me, man. I was just getting in this and that was completely unrelated to everything. Get him in your fight. Oh, Charlie. Oh, shit. The location and it looks clear. Over. I don't know what they're all doing. Whoa. Christ! Somebody help me! They've, they've what? I'm just gonna get back in again, you know what? He's not hit! <laughs> Anyone got a visual on Tango? <laughs> Z2, this is Alpha Four. I can't believe that worked! You have what appears to be a male armed suspect. Then, you have the third one where it's actually kind of, uh, it's probably my least favorite of the, of the ones, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I, I love the map, though. Um, this isn't even a specific target. You just have to take out five ICA agents. Um, I struggled with that one because I, I couldn't tell the ICA agents apart, but I just caused a little bit of chaos, and then the, uh, sure enough, the game marked them out to me as they were coming up to me, and I was able to get, get rid of them. Um, I don't know so much about doing a silent assassin on that one. Pretty much any of these other ones, I could probably pull off silent assassin, but not that one. Um, but yeah, you're in this like nightclub that was pretty cool with the uh, the dancing. Got some cool uh, NPC <laughs> NPC animations there with the dancing. It was pretty funny. Um, I like you know how you you kill one of the ICA agents, you get their earpiece, and you just start hearing you know the main person over the intercom trying to get reports from the different people that you have killed. They're not getting reports back. It's like report back, you know. It was cool. Uh, I did love this one part from my experience of it. I killed all five, and then she tells them to get out of there, and as they're running away, I managed to get like two of them as they're running away. It was awesome. Uh, I really enjoyed that. <laughs> um, then you, ha you have the fourth one um, in China. This one, this one's actually super cool. Um, you have to take out um, this guy named Hush, and you have to take out another woman. Um, all of these people uh, that you're killing in this, this uh, game um, are pretty much linked with Providence, of course, um, especially with the last mission. But um, in China, I thought it was very cool looking. Uh, definitely, I mean, I've never been to China, but it definitely captured the uh, the imagery and the the surroundings that I would expect from China. Um, lots of cool, uh, lots of cool weapons. Actually, there's a uh, there's a sniper rifle on this one roof that I managed to take out the target with. Um, I got a great vantage point from that. There's a, there's a sword that you can have. Um, there's a lot of cool weapons in this one. That's probably one of my favorite aspects of this one. Um, another cool thing that they implemented with this one is that I think at least three to four of the maps for this out of the six, there are guards that have like silenced weapons and that really helps of course because if you you're going into a mission and you can't have like a loadout with like the silver baller because that's what I always go into I usually go into my missions with the silver baller I take uh, some shurikens that I have um, that I have carried over from the the previous game because um, for actually for the first day of launch you couldn't carry over stuff from Hitman t uh, 2 uh, to three, but I managed to get mine carried over, so I hope everyone else did. Um, let me know that. Let me know down in the comments. You know, if you, you couldn't get it, I might be able to help you in some way. But um, but yeah, 
uh, I managed to get my stuff over, so I man I, I go in with my silver ball or my shurikens, and I go in with either a meaty bone or a fish, or uh, or maybe sometimes I go in with a grenade. Um, it really depends on uh, where my starting location is. Because if I'm in an area with a lot of guards, I tend to go in with something to knock them out with. But uh, it's all it's all the, the greatest thing about Hitman is just, you can you can just choose whatever path you want to take to get the job done. You know. You want to go the hard route and, you know, <laughs> just, you want to go the crazy route and just blast, blast guards and civilians away till you get to your target, that's an awesome way of doing it. If you want to do it the, the you know, professional mode way where you, you know, kind of go in, there's more, uh, enforcers and, you know, you gotta be very strategic about what you're, what you're holding and stuff like that, um, and, you know, try and get Silent Assassin, that's the aspects of this game that I really love and really the other two games in the series that I still had that that I, I love that and then you get one where um, you're at this basically another festival um, you have to take out uh, honestly I did the mission so fast I forgot what their names even were because I, I basically just hid into a hidden bat hid in a bathroom took out the woman and then I managed to sneak behind this this cabinet and take out another guy uh, the second person, and I just ran out of there, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, I wasn't, I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't messing around, I guess, I don't know, I wasn't pressed for time or anything, it was after school, I guess, I don't know, wait, was it after school, I don't know. actually, it might have been during school, to be honest with you, um, not during school, I mean, like, at lunchtime, um, <laughs> maybe that's why I rushed through it, that's probably why, but, yeah, I just chose the easy way out with that one. <laughs> um, but I really like the end of that one because you get outside and, and uh, that's the big twist where you think Diana's betrayed you um, and everything. I like that. Uh, but hands down, episode... Well, not episode, sorry. Um, the, the sixth episode... Oh, my God. Mission. Sorry. Um, I'm so used to saying episode because Hitman released an episode and I... I, I played Hitman rec recently again, like the first game of course, in preparation for this, um, I, I still love that, and Hitman 2, I remember playing that for the first time, that was thrilling, um, and I had the same experience here, there are some, we'll, we'll get to the bugs, we'll get to the bugs, but um, episode, sorry, uh, mission 6, um, you're in the mountains, and you're actually on a train, this is really cool, so this is the first Hitman mission I've ever played. At least we're on. You're on a moving locomotive. Um, it's really awesome. I managed to pull this one off in master mode actually today, which was my first go of any Hitman mission in master mode. So I mean, I, I thought it was pretty successful. Um, but uh, you're on the train. There's a bunch of guards and nurses and everything you have to get get through. But one of my favorite parts, and I actually thought about this. Uh, it was an idea I had. What if one of the hit one of the hitman targets had the technology to bring back every single target that we've eliminated from the past two games, um, and then you know the ones from Hitman 3, and they kind of do that in like hallucinations that 47 is having or these projections that they're putting into his head, um, and it's there's like literally one part where you're you're in this room and you're walking around and you just see like. Like Victor Novikov from the Paris mission from the first game, you see sh like chandelier falling on him. You see uh, the uh, Eric Soders from from the Japan mis mission from from the first one. Um, and then you walk, and th and there's they're literally like circling you, the targets from the first, the second, and the third game. I loved that. That was absolutely one of my most favorite parts of playing the game. Um, and it's very small. It's a very small part. It's not significant to the story at all. But just the fact that I thought of that, and then it came to it came to fruition. You know, and, and you know, even though it's not real, of course, it's a hallucination or projections in 47's head. Uh, I thought that was awesome. I loved seeing all the all the old targets. <laughs> um, yeah, that, that was hands down one of my favorite parts of the uh, of the game. Um, but, uh, yeah, you go through this train until you get to the end to the constant. And, uh, there's two ways you can really kill him. You can, uh, you can just, uh, straight up. Well, actually, my first playthrough of it, I, I shot him in the foot. 
to see what would happen if he would like try and run away because I mean he was like there's no point in calling for help I was like I'm interested to see if they programmed him to just stay calm instead of you know all the other NPCs that run away but no I shot him in the foot and he knocked out it was a glitch um but then I just chucked him off the side of the train <laughs> I killed him but then my second playthrough where I did it on master mode of course I uh I took this syringe and I stabbed him and uh he forgets pretty much any everything um which technically counts as eliminating him i didn't even know that was a possibility i thought he was gonna stab him in the neck like lethally but no he just injected him with serum and that's it um he didn't kill him but uh yeah i thought that was pretty interesting um so yeah it makes the constant just not remember anything and 47 even has a cool line to go out on with it he's like uh let's see or no, it's like a, this is oh yeah this is now you're gonna know what it feels to like lose everything so something like that that was awesome uh that was that was really enjoyable to see him get his uh revenge like that and uh i'm gonna go back and probably do uh try and do silent assassin only this time i'll probably just kill him with a headshot because that's one of the uh one of the uh achievements you can get is just straight up shooting them in the back of the head but i mean he was expecting that, so I mean, I didn't want to give him the satisfaction the first few times I played it, so I just tried my own different ways. Um, <laughs> cause I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to try and 100% the game. It's going to be definitely challenging, but uh, it'll be the first game that I've ever 100%ed. So that'll be, it'll be, uh, it'll be a driving, uh, force to my, my cause. But, uh, there's, there's some, uh, glitches we can get to. <laughs> Um, I was playing the, uh, I was doing a kill everyone challenge, um, also on master mode, on, on episode, or, sorry, mission six, and not, I knocked a dude out, uh, and he, his body phased out of the train and was stuck, it was stuck between the train and the ground, and eventually he managed to just, I guess, hit the ground hard enough where it counted him as dead. That was hilarious. Honestly, overall, Hitman 3, man, it, it, it is so, 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 so enjoyable. Uh, the camera feature, I loved that, that they added that. But man, uh, really, really. I, uh, I, I want to hear what you guys thought of, uh, Hitman 3. And please let me know, by all means, if you've, you've played the game. Um, let me know, are you guys able to back up your stuff from Hitman 2? Um, I, I might be able to help you guys there, because I was able to. It might be different depending on the, uh, the, the system, because, I mean, if you're doing it on PC or PlayStation 4, I mean, I don't know how much help I can be, really, for PC. Maybe play, PlayStation 4, I can try and help a little bit, but, uh, Xbox is, is where I played Hitman 3 on, and it run pretty smoothly. Um, there was some choppiness near the beginning missions but I mean IO is gonna fix that they're gonna patch everything out I'm sure but um yeah I wanna thank you all very much for watching this uh this game review I hope you guys play Hitman 3 and enjoy the heck out of it like I did and I'll see you guys in the next one take care bye bye oh yeah by the way it's my birthday when this is going up <laughs> I'm 17 now. <laughs>